Twitter's net trust rating, which gauges public sentiment about his personality, was very good at 60 points, down from excellent 75 he achieved in the previous poll. The survey was conducted just a few days after thousands of Filipinos rallied to denounce Duterte, his anti-drug crackdown and what they called an emerging dictatorship. Thousands of Filipinos have been killed in the crackdown, and other SWS polls conducted in September indicated doubts about the validity of official accounts of the 3,800 cases where police killed drug suspects. The SWS survey did not ask respondents to give a reason for the rating of Duterte, who took office in June 2016. Duterte's spokesman did not immediately respond to a request for comment on the survey results. Political analyst Ramon Casipal, head of the country's Institute for Political and Electoral Reform, said it was normal for a president's rating to fall during his time in office, but concern over the high death toll in his signature war on drugs will have weighed on sentiment. Activists accuse Duterte of inciting police to kill drug dealers and users, which he denies. Police reject allegations they are executing suspects and say deaths occurred because victims had violently resisted arrest. Kasipal said that, though the poll still showed Duterte had the support of Filipinos, he should take it seriously. This is a real diminution of his popularity and it serves as a wake-up call for him to stop it further going down, Kasipal said of the poll. However, this is still a comfortable figure and far from the threshold of unpopularity. Based on SWS methodology for net trust ratings, a score of 70 and above is considered excellent, 50 to 69 is very good, 30 to 49 good and 10 to 29 moderate.